Hello, everyone. My name is Elena Barla. I'm the co-founder of Among Doctors. So medicine is a team sport. Doctors want to get in touch with other doctors to network and to collaborate. Why? Because this is who they are. Uh, doctors want to be the best in class because they've always been the best in class and they want to stay the best in class. So they want to have access to others' information and knowledge and be able to enjoy peer recognition but also to value uh, a very good second opinion from a colleague they trust. It seems that social media is the answer here. 60%, uh, according to research and from the interviews that we have done so far, indicate that uh, physicians are actually interested in using social uh, networks for professional purposes. This in global scale means uh, more than 6 million doctors. So what's the problem? Doctors really want uh, a safe place, they want to be able to uh, not to lose their reputation, which is the single most important thing for them. And they don't want to lose their time filtering through irrelevant to their needs information, either from uh, irrelevant sources or unreliable ones. That's why, in order to solve this, we have created uh, Among Doctors, which is um, a global networking platform exclusive to licensed physicians uh, that helps them connect with um, uh, reliable colleagues all over the world from all specialties, where all the users are carefully screened uh, in order to ensure that they are real doctors with real names. And uh, of course, we, will, we have introduced as well, in order to have a higher quality of community, um, the introduction uh, prerequisite. So most of the users need to have introduction from other uh, doctors as well to be able to be considered uh, to enter this uh, platform. There is no pharma presence whatsoever. We don't want to associate our brand with pharma. We want doctors to feel uh, free to, to discuss anything they want between each other, and easy and useful tools for doctors to collaborate with each other. So what do we do exactly? Through Among Doctors, physicians have four main opportunities. First, they can engage in insightful medical discussions with each other, um, with colleagues across the world, either general discussions or filtered according to specialties or within specific groups they have formed. Second, they can publish their own articles and share their findings and their researches with each other and showcase their work. Third, they can establish a trusted work team either uh, topic-driven or within a, a specific set, like uh, an institution or hospital. And fourth, they can grow their professional network and reputation. We have uh, several um, direct and indirect uh, clients in the market. These are the most relevant ones on the left, you see. Uh, but what are benefits that we offer to, to uh, our, our users through Among Doctors? Um, uh, are these ones on the top, which is uh, reliability, global reach, exclusivity, elite, through introductions, and easy collaboration. And as you can see, we stand strong against our competition. So how are we going to make money? A subscription fee, um, an annual fee of $180 per year for the first uh, year for free in order to generate contact and traffic and subject to discounts because we want to attract equally good, good doctors either from the States or from Asia or Europe. Uh, this is an example to highlight the fact that uh, Mock Doctors is not uh, an, um, a solution which, uh, which is very expensive. Um, to the contrary, it's quite affordable since you see that uh, similar companies with a registration-based model um, have uh, more expensive pricing models. The progress so far, we have uh, way past uh, the idea stage. We have validated this through interviews. We have uh, started building the product, uh, and so we, are, have, we have achieved several technical milestones and business milestones, and now we are launching, uh, sorry, we are hard in, uh, working very hard to launch uh, in private beta. This is the team. Um, I am a mechanical engineer from NTUA, and I have a specialized MBA from Bocconi in Italy. 
I have um, health industry experience uh, working as a C-level executive in Elsevier, a leader in uh, health publishing, and also have uh, several um, uh, uh, experience in, in m and in change management, project management in other multinationals as well. Nikos Yanopoulos is the co-founder and CIO. He's um, an electrical and computer engineer from NDU as well. This is where we met. And uh, he has a significant experience in software development and project management of large-scale projects, as well as other uh, development methodologies and big data experience as well. We are very excited about key partners and resources. We have uh, started discussing with doctors, as I said, and uh, some of them are waiting for our beta. We have Apostolos Apostolakis, our mentor and advisor, and we are very happy about that. He's uh, the co-founder of Dr. Anytime, eShop, eFood, and advisor of Taxibit. We have a network of senior executives from Elsevier that we are ready to tap on and in order to provide us support. And we have as well uh, Vincenzo Colucci, who is um, an Italian um, entrepreneur with a lot of uh, uh, companies, uh, health companies in Italy, serving more than 50,000 doctors and we have agreed and secured with him the, the channel for Italy. Um, this is the marketing plan. Uh, we, what is important to understand, to highlight, is that uh, we, are, uh, we want to work on the, on the word of mouth. We want happy customers, happy doctors, bringing uh, other doctors as well in, in the platform. Uh, of course, we are going to use our, and have uh, advertising activities as well and marketing activities too. This is the cost structure, a typical internet uh, case, uh, company case cost structure. Uh, only addition to that is the fact that we will need also a lot of um, uh, screening. So we have incorporated as well the, the screening costs uh, in, to ensure the, uh, the reliability of, of the users. This is our five-year performance. Uh, by the uh, year of 2019, uh, we have planned uh, uh, a possible exit uh, through an acquisition. We have uh, estimated on $150 million uh, revenue by then and more than a million users. Here it's important to, uh, to say that we have some assumptions made. We have incorporated the fact that from the first year, which is free, until the second year, which is uh, uh, registration-based, there is going to be a significant loss of users. So we have incorporated that to be uh, uh, thorough, and also we have incorporated a uh, churn rate plus uh, um, newcomers that will be able to, new users that will be able to um, find out about us and register, not through introductions, but through marketing, which is a small percentage as well. This is the development plan. Uh, we are asking $200,000 in order to complete the product development, uh, hiring also uh, other de software developers. And uh, through uh, next rounds, we uh, will be able to have a sustainable business by uh, a, a very uh, gr uh, sorry high growth uh, business. Uh, so the plan is to have an acquisition by the end of 2019. These are some information in case you want to check on more details about us. And thank you very much. Any questions? Even, even though I'm very familiar with the project, obviously, yes. and I believe in its potential, my question would be, after the first round, the seed round of 200, a thousand, uh, will you be able to exhibit some traction, numbers of doctors enrolled? Yes. Um, we will uh, be able to, to kick off the beta version. And since we have already discussed with some doctors, we, uh, we want to be able to attract as many possible through the word of mouth, as we said. But of course, we are going to, to accelerate more uh, after the, uh, the completion of the product. So yes, the, there's reasons. I'm, I'm saying just because it says that with the 200K, we will have just a product development. Yeah. It should also include the launch with, uh, with some traction in a specific specialty, I assume. Yes, exactly. One or two specialties, exactly. Hi. Uh, I assume that Greece will be the starting market? Uh, not only. Uh, actually, uh, we focus m 
in Greece, or, but also in Italy, since we have the channel? Uh, the, the true question is, how are you going to get the first 5,000 doctors to sign up? So uh, the, the model is based on uh, a, um, a viral coefficient. I mean, we are, uh, um, we are focusing a lot on uh, the fact that the doctors will bring other doctors as well. This is the very important thing to, to remember, plus a small percentage of uh, marketing, through marketing and through a general branding. No, excuse me, I, I was referring to the initial users. That we, the beta users, yeah, you mean? The, the ones that will become, you know, your base that you will expand out of. Word of mouth. Word of mouth. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So, um, quick question on the... Uh, what do you envision to be sort of uh, this technology used for the most? Is it going to be more like sort of LinkedIn, which is biographical information, or is it going to be more content-based, like Q&A? So can you repeat I mean, the question? Well, do you expect doctors to sort of ask each other questions right. on specific subjects around, let's say, specialties? Or is it more sort of networking, biographical information? It's actually both. Uh, it's going to be networking and it's going to be also a collaboration tool. So we have uh, uh, narrowed down to target users. These are the, the guru profile, the contributor, who is an experienced doctor. He wants to share information and give back to the medical community. And he writes a bunch of articles and uh, participates in uh, medical events and so on. But also we have the new doctor here who wants to network a lot. He wants to find the new exciting opportunities, get in, participate in very interesting projects. So we are going to actually focus on both of them because they are both very important for the generation of the traffic and the content. And let me ask you another question. It's a, yes. uh, by the way, it's a great presentation. Thank you. Uh, maybe it's a stupid question because I don't understand the market. Do you envision any potential sort of legal issues or liability issues? That's a good question. It's uh, actually, that's why we want to be able to uh, to, to provide the service to doctors that they are uh, they they want to trust, so so they feel that they can trust. So the first thing is that the, there is not going to be any upload of uh, physician uh, patients' data because this is illegal. So we have uh, a, a lawyer that we are working with him in order to first of all to upload the terms and conditions to make to highlight to doctors that they cannot do that, and secondly uh, there are some highlights as well through. Uh, it's the, typic, the typical, I mean, uh, guidelines when you share your articles, right? You, you cannot share patients' information unless they have given a written notice. So these technicalities, they have been taken into account. What about things like doctors not asking questions because they're afraid that's going to be subpoenaed sort of five years later in the U.S., for instance? I think it might be less of a sort of, less, less of an issue sort of they, they are afraid to ask, I mean, you mean in the platform? Uh, well, since and maybe it's a stupid question. That's no, no, it's not. A, no, it's not at all. Actually, it's a very important question. Uh, the doctors, since they will, they will be in a safe environment and will be among doctors, uh, they will not have a niche for that. I mean, they are already doing this in the states, and this is the relevant competitor that we have, Doximity. So there are ways to 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 engage and motivate doctors to ask. Thank you. Thank you. We have a little extra time because that was just eight minutes to do a 10 minute pitch. So. Yeah. <laughs> okay, great. Okay. That was five minutes. Thank you very much.